Hey everybody, Richard here, and today I'd like to give you a demonstration of my Google Workspace add-on for Google Calendar, and I'm calling it Calendar Bulk Actions. So Calendar Bulk Actions is intended to give you some flexibility in how you perform certain bulk actions on your calendar that you can't do automatically or already in Google Calendar just very easily. So for example, if you need to delete in bulk a, a set of events that have the same name, other than going in individually and deleting them, there's really no good way to do that uh, in Google Calendar. So this add-on lets you bulk delete all events that have the same name. And that concept applies to the idea of color coding as well as updating uh, information about the event such as the description, the location, and any guests who may be there. So let's take a look at how it works. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at this sample week of, of a schedule and it looks uh, pretty plain um, having everything being the same color and maybe hard to read as things kind of fill in. So if I wanted to distinguish my 10 English class from my 11 English class, I could kick click on this event here. This is the first one and I would select color code from the options here and I could go ahead and just choose another color and then I would select a date for when the color coding should stop. So in this case this week will end around the 26th. I'm gonna choose the 26th, click OK and color code. So it says here, all events with matching titles have been color coded. So as we can see now, my 10 English class kind of stands out um, and it's different from my 11 English class. Okay. The next thing I'd like to look at is uh, this baseball practice event. Now I'm noticing here that there's practice, but there's no location for this event. So I want to actually update the location because we're going to be practicing in the same location each practice. So in this case, I would select bulk update location and I would type in the location. We're gonna practice at the ballpark. And again, I'll choose an end date for, for the action to perform. Get confirmation, all events with matching titles have updated the location. So now we can see here all of the ballparks have been added to the baseball practices. Uh, similarly, I think I may want to add um, something to this basketball practice. Um, and in this case, maybe it's not the location, but uh, a reminder to bring something to that practice, like water and shoes and whatnot. So I'm gonna select this basketball practice and I'm going to click Update Description, um, Bring Water, and Basketball Shoes. Going to select the end date. OK. Update Description. Description updated for all matching events. So if I come back to the calendar and we look at uh, Basketball Practice, we can see here, bring water and basketball shoes. Bring water and basketball shoes. All right. So the last option um, is to look at adding guests to events. So uh, maybe for, for this week, I'm going to have a substitute teacher. So I simply want to add a guest uh, to my uh, calendar event so they can get it on their calendar as well. So I would choose this 11 English. I would say bulk add guest, and I'm going to choose uh, a teacher to be added to this event. I'll select the end date again, OK, and add guest. We get that confirmation that guests have been added to all matching events. So uh, we can confirm that here. 
That teacher two has been added here, here, and here. So there you have it, um, a quick way to perform some uh, very useful bulk actions on your Google Calendar. Thanks for watching. Bye.